So hey, I think only two episodes left, including this one, and boy, stuff goes down. Boy, what an episode. Boy, do we learn some stuff. And fight some stuff. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We're in the end game. Yes. Yeah, exactly. This is like just straight up. Uh, actually, let me see if I. Oh, all right, I guess I can change. All right, well, I'll screw with that later. Yeah. But yeah, we're just in the end game. And like, I like a lot of this, and our things have been kind of baffled. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I think this was adapted pretty well. Yeah, like, from what I've, like, I read through the manga, and, like, this seems pretty one-to-one. -one. Like, this is pretty, like, much just the chapters. They didn't really skip anything, it seems. So, straight up, episode starts off, hey, time to fight Silva. <laughs> and it's a very short fight. <laughs> It is a very short fight, but a very good fight. And Silva's just like, oh, yeah, yo, yo, I've, like, I've learned that there are, like, people I love that I have to fight for now. And I'm like, wait, excuse me, who, what? Yeah, it's like, who? <laughs> and he's like, I'll show you, yo, the, like, horror of my cursed black blood. And I'm like, what, huh? It's Where, huh? Yeah, <laughs> they I, have I was, a really cool sword fight, and I can't hate it. Yeah, I was at about the same spot where I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? Oh, man. Fortunately, Takeo is pressed with time because he was good a number of chapters. This is still business after all. Oh, yeah. It's like, I have the impression, like, the series constantly wants us to, like, have this belief that the Patch Tribe are just evil and they've done all this horrible stuff. But, like, it rarely really, like, has them do anything bad. <laughs> like, the only thing they've done bad is they brainwashed Silva, and now I don't know if he's been unbrainwashed or not. I have no idea what he's on about. <laughs> Yeah, but whatever. It, it's it's so, fine, yeah. Silva's very unimportant to the overall plot. <laughs> it is still way better handled than when Ruby tried to make Oz look evil by giving people the power to turn to birds, and that was apparently an evil thing to do. I was so confused for a second. I was like, what, who, the white? <laughs> Wait, yeah, I've heard about I've heard, I've heard about that. Yeah, Oz Ruby. just gives a guy a power to turn to a bird willingly, just whenever, and people get irrationally upset at him for it. Yeah, I've I've heard about that. Where if you if you can turn into an animal, you're like a social outcast for some reason, despite yeah. the fact that that's a pretty cool power. Yeah, it's because he's technically Hal's blood. Yeah, but also that's like. I feel like that's, like, been removed by, like, just, like, over a thousand years at this point. Ruby's stupid, so I don't ultimately care, but... Ruby is, like, I. the more I learn about Ruby, the dumber it gets, and I've seen the series. I've thought it was stupid from the moment, it, like, it started getting popular. <laughs> Er, so, not, not in, like, a hipster way, but more so in, like, the more I heard people talking about it and saying things that happened in the show, it's just like, that's stupid. Yeah, man, have, just, just side tangents, have you heard of, like, the one animal trait rule in Ruby? No. There is, like, just straight up, like, an internal rule in, like, the effing, like, setting that's never stand in universe. It's just something they've, like, mentioned offhand in interviews and stuff. Where it's, like, every faunus, like, person, every animal person can only have one animal trait. And that's it. You, you just get one. And it's, like... What does that mean? It means if you are a cat girl, you either have a tail and you don't look like a cat, or you have ears and you don't get a tail. Oh, that's dumb. 
It's it's so like weirdly restrictive. Yeah, if you're gonna make animal people, then go all in. Yeah, it's like this. This gets to a point where there's like a crocodile character who shows up, and they're kind of cool, and they have like specifically mm -hmm. given themselves like metal like fang like monster teeth grills because they use their one trait mm -hmm. to have crocodile skin, and they can't have teeth and skin. Why not get the teeth? The teeth are cooler. <laughs> yeah. But then they don't look like a crocodile because they just have like fangs. You get to be a cool, like an anime <laughs> character with cool shark teeth. Not, sh not shark teeth, but you know what I mean. Yeah. But when, I, when like... I think of like anime characters like shark teeth, I, I go to shark for some reason. Oh man, <laughs> then you like, you see there are like characters where it's like, oh, their one trait is they just have like retractable like finger claws. And it's like, oh. You, you can declaw animals. How are you even a different thing? You're you're just a guy. So can the can the bird people choose to just be able to fly, or do they have to turn their arms into wings for that? No, it's it's just something you're born with. So it's oh, like so if have... yeah, you either just have wings or you just have some other thing, and it's just part of your anatomy. <laughs> okay. So you could be a bird person, and you just have like feet talons, and you just grind your talons down to fit in. So you're just a dude. <laughs> I would just I would just not wear shoes and just have the crazy bird talons. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, oh, it's, oh you bird features, you're such a freak, and then I, like, stab them with my bird oh, talons. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, there, there's so many dumb... Because there's, like, there's, like, a point where you see, like, effing, like, Blake's dad, and it's, like... They have to, like, be like, alright, this guy is a fondness from, like, a visual perspective, but they also want him to have the cat claws and not, like, bring them out until he needs them. <laughs> so our solution is they give him, like, stupid, crazy, like, body hair, but not, like, in an animal sense. It's just, not like, really- hair. It's not cat hair. He's just really effing hairy for no reason, to the point where they just expect you to just look at his, like, arm pair and his chest hair and be like, oh yeah, cat, of course. And you remember the trait thing? It makes no sense, because it means he's just, like- the hairiest friggin' anime dude that's ever animated. Yeah. <laughs> it's See, so dude, dumb. This is what I mean. Every time I hear anything about Ruby, it's like, this is the dumbest thing ever. Ah, oh, jeez, yeah. It's why when I eventually, like, bought Cross Tag Battle and played through the story modes, I just skipped all the, all the Ruby crap. <laughs> Like, I, I, I played and, like, listened to the dialogue and watched through everyone else's. I skipped the Ruby part. <laughs> I oh, don't man. care. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me just catch up on the cons real quick, because we've been, like, adoring them. Uh, cat, dumb line from Kid Kid's not very important. Uh, Ruby source from Subverting Expectation Syndrome. Yeah, I can kind of feel that. Yeah, that's so weird, yeah. It also uses retcons very badly. And they're not inherently a bad thing, which is super true, but, like, yeah, it's really bad for it. It's also awful at world building? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> world build? Like, I... Just, you better hope you watch the World of Remnant episodes just as, like, the side series as you're going through, or you will just not know how half this crap works in Ruby. It's it's insane. <laughs> Ruby's just a cool idea executed poorly. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know what, I'll go a step further. It is like, it is a very standard generic shonen idea with like some cool aesthetics. And like, boy are those aesthetics really cool at times. Like, I really liked a lot of the early fight scenes. And then like, after the Amir died and they couldn't do that anymore, it just stopped like, working. Like completely, and things just fell apart super hard.
Like, that's the thing. Ruby's, like, it starts okay and then, like, gets good and then actively just, like, falls off and just gets, like, so, so bad. Uh, but yeah, I'm rambling on too long as Shaman King. <laughs> yeah, if the dude is still around, it was at least of cool combat scenes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh man. God, I just just one last thing. <laughs> cause I was like watching some crap because it's like there's a point where I just started working on like a Ruby fanfic because I was like, oh yeah, I I this series has some cool stuff. I wanna do it better. And I was like looking into crap. And it's like there is a scene where like effing crow gets disarmed and he punches a dude out. And Soul, like, goes a whole thing, and they, like, have a whole video just explaining, like, no, you see, like, when he punched him out, it actually, like, didn't break any rules of the universe, because he, he punches him out with, like, the metal ring on his hand, and that becomes his new weapon, and I'm like, okay, I'm done. This has become too stupid for me. <laughs> <laughs> this, like, this doesn't even anymore. You can't. <laughs> Ah, jeez. All right, yeah, Shaman King. So, so yeah, cool fight with Silva happens. <laughs> oh, pretty man. cool. He he brings pretty out, fast. He brings out a really cool spear. I I wish it went on longer, but whatever. We like Yo beats him. He proves himself. Awesome. <laughs> I'm kind of glad it goes quickly because I'm at this point. I just want to see the new like the I want I want to get to the end. <laughs> Yeah, just, we get a quick call where, like, effing Anna and the others, like, finally boarding that Sphinx who was equipped with scuba gear to go underwater is very distinctly not the, like, real other, like, end of the series. It is slightly different, but it's the same basic idea. But yeah, meanwhile, hey, effing aliens, right? Aliens are real. Aliens are real, and that's what the patch traditional equipment is. The the traditional patch tribe methods actually were traditional. I think that dumb gag actually meant something. We we learned from Rutherford, which I believe is the name. Yeah, the like alien yeah. like friggin' shaman in the fight. Yeah, this this is the best. It's so dumb, and I just kind of love it. Because <laughs> it's like, they explained that, like, just thousands of years ago or whatever, like, an alien crashed onto Earth in, like, North America or Mesoamerica. <laughs> and they nursed it back to health. Yeah, they saved the alien, and, like, as thanks, it shared their technology with them. <laughs> And you see the alien drawing a, like, image of the Oracle Bell, like, on the ground. Which means that the alien used its knowledge to give them a way to contact, like, the god of this world. And, like, connect with spirituality on, like, a whole new level. <laughs> I think alien just teaches them how to read people's spirit energy from god. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> it also ties into some stuff into the sequel series. Wait, what? Wait, the alien stuff comes back? Great. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, it was, uh, it's... Jeez. But yeah, just strip like Rutherford's spirit ally is just the soul of an alien, presumably the alien. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it might be the original alien. Just the alien. <laughs> it's just been around forever. And it's like, oh, huh? All right. I I guess he just never moved. Could he have even moved on to the Great Spirit? I actually don't know. No, no idea unless it explains. Yeah, Ruford's top five patch designs. Oh yeah, she's pretty cool. Like, both human form and the Oversoul form, which is what we're seeing right now. 
yeah, the alien look is her, like, oversoul, which honestly, yeah, yeah makes sense. Yeah, yeah, she's not an actual alien. It's just a girl in a, a alien costume, basically. Yeah. It's pretty funny though, because like, you know, of course, they like they break the oversoul, and you see like what she looks like without the mask on, and her hair is like gigantic. <laughs> and it's like, how did this even fit? Excuse me. <laughs> oversoul. That's all. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> It's it's magic, don't worry about it. Literal magic. <laughs> yeah, she seems pretty cool, has a pretty cute design. Also, yeah, I only noticed when reading the manga, she is straight up, like, just straight up has little, like, gray alien earrings. Oh, does she? <laughs> like, I, it's I just that. full body, like, gray aliens just, like, strapped to her ears. Nice. <laughs> Oh man, it's like, okay, yeah, no war she connected. She's a UFO nut, of course. She was already into this crap. Yeah, everyone goes into the space plant and, like, Ryu's just like, oh, hey, everyone, like, I need to make myself useful somehow. Please let me, like, cover you in the Orochi head so you can breathe in space and that way you can conserve your energy for fighting. And honestly, yeah, good arm. Ryu finally kind of gets his moment. Yeah, it's like, yeah, all right. Yeah, Rutherford really, like, puts him through his paces, and he manages to keep that thing together, so good on you, Ryu. <coughs> uh, but yeah, they have a whole fight, like, turns out Rutherford or whatever it is can just control gravity, which is a really cool power. It's, but it's a str it's a strong one. It's a pretty good one. <laughs> Man, this this character is so cool, and Yo just beats them so quickly. <laughs> it's like, all right, sure, gotta get to the end, gotta like blast through it. Cause yeah, man, nullification. They finally remember they just have that. Yeah, so Yo just like beats the gravity thing and doesn't actually win not necessarily like he he disables her oversoul but he doesn't actually kill her because yeah. Hal wakes up yeah and everyone gets a little message on their oracle bell and it doesn't translate it in the anime version i watched but it just straight up says so small ah, that would make sense yeah and they're right. like oh crap yeah, I noticed that, like, the subs that we got on this episode were the ones that shift from top to bottom constantly and don't translate some things. And translate Chocolove's name to Joko. Oh, man. Yeah. That's I hate, this I, yeah. I hate whatever subbing group does those episodes. Man, this is this was such, like, a well-done sequence. Like, holy crap. It's really cool. Hal becomes the Shaman King and just kills everybody. Yeah, Hal wakes up and Gold the <clears throat> shows up and, like, breaks through the thing. And she's like, oh god, Hal just murdered the children. Oh, he's just sucking souls left and right. So this oh. is the power of the real Shaman King. And it's like, you didn't know this was going to happen? <laughs> to be fair, she might not have. <laughs> You put an evil kid as, uh, up to be the Shaman King. It's like, what were you expecting? <laughs> no, but you see, good and evil are subjective. It's how murders everyone in sight. Literally everyone. Even <laughs> the people in the, the submarine sphinx. They're just, and it's just like, oh, we're too late. And then it blows up. <laughs> Holy crap. Jeez, how? <laughs> it's like everyone just freaks out and like, yo, just just immediately, like, Ryu just dies just, like, looking at him, and, like, Takagiro gets, like, sucked in, and he yeah. just sucks in Golba <clears throat> just without thinking. You never know until it happens. Counter-argument, how has been the Patch Tribe's enemy for, thousand, for like, a thousand years? Yeah, that's pretty true. Goldva should have. Goldva would have known this better than anybody. 
<laughs> yeah, but it's not their place to judge, you know, maybe in good reasons for, like, you know, stealing their, like, fire spirit and, like, doing all this evil stuff and, like, just consuming souls. What I'm confused by is how is is like how is like I'm going to make a world for shamans and then kills all the shamans too. Yeah, I, I, I feel like it, at this point he's just screwing with them. I mean, probably it seems like how like we find we see later that it's clear how is giving them a chance. Yeah. I don't know. Wh- I don't know why because he's clearly infinitely more powerful than everybody. Kind of, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, because at this point, it doesn't matter. Like, he's won. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at this point, Hal has won. He is the Shaman King. He has become God, just straight up. Like, Hal just does his whole thing, <clears throat> and Yo just cuts his head off. And he's like, yeah, this body doesn't even have your soul in it anymore. You're just controlling it. Because the real you is inside the great spirit and's like become one with the universe. Yeah, pretty much. And then I, I like that Hal's head like looks up and smiles before it absorbs Yo. <laughs> yeah, Yo and Amitamaru, who's just like, presumably all the ghosts are just dead now. Like they're just gone. Because, I mean, like, how are they going to come back from the afterlife, you know? The answer is that they'll talk down how and he'll restore them to life. Oh, man. Like, so... I I know how it's going to end already unless the writer is just like, nah, Hal wins and everybody's dead now. <laughs> but I, I doubt that. Yeah. Because the big info of this episode is that it's like, alright, they all get sucked into a great spirit, like, everyone, like, shows up with their cool new, like, you know, like, yep. all mental spirits and stuff, and they're like, oh yeah, yo, don't worry, we've still got time to make you into a good king. Yeah. Also, Yo didn't, Yo didn't go for the kill because Hal was already dead, or at least his body is. Yeah, that's fair, yeah. Hal's soul was already, like, gone. Hal's already yeah. technically dead and alive. Although, although if to the Japanese, de- uh, desecrating a corpse is, like, one of the worst things you can possibly do, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Surprising that Yo was uh, willing to do that. Man, I, I do really like this one, where it's like, yo... Yo and Hal are just, like, in the Great Spirit, and Hal's like, oh yeah, this is the area where only the Sean King can exist, so, yo. Hey, like, let's and chat anyone, out and stuff, yeah. It's only the Shaman King and anybody he invites specifically. Yeah, specifically. So he's like, he's like yeah, yo, let, maybe we can, like, see through our differences, and Yo's like, nah, I, I really want us to have a future out there and to, like, keep living and stuff. So Hal's like, all right, yeah, it's a shame, you know, bugger off then. And Yo's like, nope. And he's there's like, also, what, what do you mean, no? There's a whole conversation before that where Hal is just like, oh, yeah, you don't like people either, do you? And Yo's just like, no, nah, not really. Yeah. And honestly, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> like, Yo's <laughs> been a loner for so long. It's like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't like people that powers. much either. <laughs> but yeah, Hal tries to send Yo away. He's like, nah, I'm, I'm not leaving. And it's like, oh, you have the Shaman King power too somehow? And it's like, they're twins. I can see where this is going already. Oh, man. You think it's Yo's because... gonna be the Shaman King? Probably. <laughs> or they'll share, <laughs> they'll share it. Yeah. But yeah, like... It's like, oh, they're twins, so they're, like, linked somehow. <laughs> or, like, through whatever twin bond people believe exists. Oh, man. I... This is one of those things I was spoiled on early on. I, I'm not going to say what happens, but I do know where this is going specifically. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I will mention it, like, next episode. Yeah. But yeah, how was just like, oh, well, crap. And everyone else just shows up and just beats the crap out of him. 
Yeah. And and they're they're allowed to come in because they have the grand spirits. Because yeah. when everybody else died, they were like, okay, well, we'll just collect them here then, I guess. Yeah, it's, a, it's like, that's such a cool moment. <laughs> but it's also like, oh, so we're just redeeming how, huh? I mean, uh, of course, right. that was yeah. That was obviously the plan from the beginning. Oh boy! Not right, it's I... not a su- not a surprise in the slightest. How how do you feel about how being redeemed at this point? Like at this point specifically, <laughs> he has the power to undo all the bad he's ever done at this point. You know what? Fair enough. Yeah, I if he undoes all the bad he's done, then <laughs> fair enough. I, I feel like that's fine. <laughs> I think that's fair. Yeah. Just like, you know, hey, all of you just back to your buys. Oh, I'm just gonna, you know, release the souls, the spirit of fire absorbed, and, you know. Like, honestly, I feel like that'd be fine. Like, I, I don't need Lily Rara to come back or anything like that. I just want him to just, like, you know, like, let the souls move on and to restore the main characters back to their proper bodies. <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel but, like that'd be fine. But also, I feel like as the Shaman King, he could just re- revive all the dead people regardless. <laughs> like, he, he could revive Lily Rara and, like, all the dead ex-laws and, like, I'm pretty sure he has the power to do all that. Just <laughs> point out point. he's an all-powerful princess that's having a temper tantrum. <laughs> yeah, 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 we kind of glossed over that bit where oh, uh, Manta's re- retelling his dream. Princess How is just back. They're yeah. just like, yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna use this little gag that we came up with for all it's worth. I just it was the original end of the series. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's a really dumb thought. Like, what if Yo's like, oh yeah, how bring everyone back? And he's like, all right, fine. I'm bringing back every human that's ever existed all at once. That was not that stupid. <laughs> no, but what if he just does it just to, like, spite him and show him what a mess it is? And he's like, all right, this is good. All right, now I'm just gonna kill all non shamans. <laughs> 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 oh, that'd be so dumb, but it'd be so funny, though. <laughs> Just like, I bring back everyone except for you and your friends. Are you okay with that? <laughs> well, you know he would be. Oh, man. Yo, yo would be like, okay, sure. Yo just looks up, he's like, I right, if I don't come back to life, Anna's gonna kill me, so... <laughs> he's like yeah she'll find a way don't even question it <laughs> so address some points from last week since I missed that one. Oh, right yeah <laughs> right cause we did on like a weird day yeah sorry about that <laughs> oh yeah yeah we had to do it on Monday I think <laughs> yeah yeah it was like just no one expects it and because no one follows me on Twitter there's just no way to like tell people <laughs> oh man but yeah like I don't know anything else you're like thinking lucky while he's like you know probably typing stuff out I assume not really. Uh, I don't know. It's a it's a cool episode. How hey, do you? I'm I'm yeah. glad that we. I'm glad that uh, this episode we had two good episodes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Comes trying ring. Both loneliness and the demon aspects are both going by data books. Oh, both possible. Okay. Yeah. So how just found, like, an alternate way to do it. Okay, yeah, gotcha, makes sense. Hmm. That's interesting, though, I will say. That is, like, really interesting. That it's, like, there's more than one way to, like, become a mind reader, weirdly enough. Uh, but yeah, like, I guess, how do you feel about how the finale's shaping up so far? Uh, I look forward to the fight against Hal using the Great Spirit, or rather, the lack of a fight that it's going to be. 
Yeah, it's probably gonna be a really quick action scene, and then they, like, manage to break through enough to, like, talk him down. And we're gonna have a really, like, long, good chat about, like, you know, how it's, like, backstory or whatever. And that's gonna, like, just sort of, like, end things off. You know, Pacha are special because there are situations both were near-death situations until saved by someone. I don't remember that about Anna. Holy crap. All right. Mm. Wait, you mean the, like, the great Oni thing, or is that, like, something else? Because, yeah, yeah, whatever, it's fine, yeah. I just assume it's, like, there's probably a backstory chapter or something that gets more into that. Uh, but, yeah, I guess, like, we'll just come back next week and we'll probably have way more to talk about with this. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like we aren't really good enough thoughts, but, like, I don't know no. what else to really say. It's It was a cool sequence, and I like where it's going, kind of. Yeah, there's not much to say. How won, and now we're just waiting for the finale to happen. How won, and also is... aliens. Although we kind of glossed over it, there is a cool scene where they all show up with, their, with the Grand Spirits and just beat the snot out of Hal for a little bit. I like that lot's going on, yo. It's just like, hey guys, aren't you going a bit far? And they're like, no. No, absolutely not. <laughs> if they think this isn't far enough. Yeah, like, Lyser just straight up says, like, the fires of hell are too cold for you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Ren's just like, no, we're not going hard enough. In fact, this there's no way this will kill him. By the way, here's the spirit of Earth. Take it. Yeah. I, like, I was trying to look at the different great spirits, because, like, the spirit of fire is, like, a weird jet, and, like, the spirit of Earth has, like, big crazy drill legs. <laughs> and I was like, are there other, like, things like that on the R's that's, like, the rain kind of has a bit of, like, a spigot on its back, maybe? It's hard to tell. And I could not find any other little details, like, wind is kind of a bird, but I don't know if that fits the theme. It's like, alright, sure, why not? <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, but yeah, thanks for the trivia, man. <laughs> I like, I really do appreciate it. So yeah, should we just end things off then? Uh, I guess so. Alright, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys around. See y'all next week. Later.